How are you? Of course, the first thing and most important thing I have to say is if you want to reduce your ping and be a pro gamer like me, uh, you can go to expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Did I get it right? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and sign up um, and be a real gamer because uh, if you don't do it, you're not a real gamer. Um, also, if you want to uh, hang out in our chat and become a first member and support us, uh, we would appreciate it a lot. Um, and you can come say hi and you can ask us questions to our, our special guests um, and, and us and nor- our special guests and our regular us. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm regular me, Carrie Shawcross. And joining me, as always, amazing co host, Issa Badiola. Hello, Issa. Hello, it's regular Issa um, joining the regular cast. Hello. Um, hello, regular. Hello. Fellow regular. <laughs> hello, fellow regular. Um, our, our next person on this cast, though regular, is still very special. Aaron Wynn. Hey, it's me, special regular guest Aaron Wynn. <laughs> Back at we, gotta, we gotta make sure we don't say irregular, because that has you, a different... It's true. I have a guest, but I've been on, like, the most. So. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> and then now, an actual irregular Finally. special guest, <laughs> Josh Flanagan here to Whoa. grace us with his presence. Who is hey. that man? Re- recurring, recurring co-host Josh Flanagan <laughs> here, as always, to add the comedy. <laughs> oh, oh, Josh. <laughs> Classic Flanagan. That's what we always say. And then we have that graphic that's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, put that up. Put that graphic up. Yeah. Now, did you did you move to the room that you're in because of the, the background color we're doing? Because it does look like you're, you're chroma keyed now, and it's amazing. I did. I actually painted the wall just in time. That's so, wow. <laughs> yeah. Y'all With live action blood. people, you're just like, oh, I want it done. It's awesome. Yeah. He, it's he very killed good. someone. I like it a lot. Immediately it's, for it. Yeah. How are you all doing? Uh, and also, feel free to not answer that based on how last week actually went. Let's talk about the weekend. Let's talk about the fun part of the weekend. Oh. You say uh, that. In, well, <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So, Carrie, okay. Explain, explain what happened. So for for a lot of us uh, in, in Texas, in Austin, Texas, on uh, Sunday, it snowed. Which, although uh, the the larger implications of what that means for our climate scares me, I had a lot of fun out there playing around through some snowballs. That was great. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, Aaron, how 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 did your weekend go? I was robbed of my Sunday. Uh, it was enjoyable for about thirty minutes until I lost power around like one thirty, and oh, I didn't no. get power back until like nine thirty that night. That- um, is terrible. Yeah, and basically, I mean, everything's still closed here. And I was like, oh shit, I need to like charge my phone and stuff. I don't, I can't go to like a cafe or anything. So like half of my day, I was like just in my car trying to like charge whatever I could. I'm so glad and, your like, car uh, battery didn't die. Oh my god. Yeah, that god don't. Ugh. <laughs> so that was but my is weekend. That, is that not God telling you to get outside and enjoy? <laughs> the snow like i don't know how else you could take that so I mean, you did. kids you kids and, and your like, phones <laughs> i did for a little bit and then i was like oh it's really cold i'm gonna go back inside oh wait i can't because there's no heat yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then and then yesterday my heater died so that was fun uh i got it fixed pretty quickly though okay that's but good i'm just like wow I, something 20, how- 21 is out for me <laughs> but your, does your house not hold heat for like a few hours? It died in, in the middle of the shed? night. It died okay. in the middle of the night. Yeah. Okay. So I woke up and the, the temperature was like plummeting. So it got down to like 59. I, <gasps> okay. I think I just give up at that point. Yeah. Like I would lay, Honestly. I would cover up. I I, mean, I I wouldn't like jump in an ice bath, but I, I would cover up. I'd get under blankets <laughs> and I would just be like, oh, I'll see you in 12 hours. Hopefully everything's cool. Like I, I just don't know. Like as I... I'm almost 30 now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it is fair. Happens. Like, at 9.30, I was like, I don't think the light's coming back on. I'm just going to go to bed early. And as soon as I was how the Amish processing doing, right? it, yeah, I was like, all right, bedtime. And then the power came back on. So. Well, at that point, are you like, well, now I need it, like, in my weekend in? Or exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, my God. Internet time, computer time. Um, I wanted to point out this one question from what is life in chat who asks so who has longer hair josh or aaron mm. i mean i oh, could have oh, like God, a I have ruler like oh it's a contest 
Oh, it's probably really pretty, close. pretty close. That's really close. Yeah. I think Aaron's hair is like, oh man, actually, Maybe. it's really I hard. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like, this is hard. Siblings or something. Yeah. Y'all both got that Jesus look going on. <laughs> that Jesus look. Ways. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Josh, don't do Whoa. Oh, so fancy. I, I can't do that. My hair is all nasty. I think we have to blur Josh now because that was too, <laughs> too, too sexy. Sexy Jesus cosplay. Yeah. Oh. How, how, uh, are, I mean, you've you've had you've had longer hair for a while. Is that like is that how much of that is a symptom of work from home, or how much of that is just like, just you just like rocking that look? A no, lot of people I, have yeah, long hair it, right now for that this reason. Is true. So I'm yeah, really curious. exactly. I yeah no, this is not my quarantine look. This is a look I didn't find. I, I've had long hair like here and there growing up, but I didn't really find this look until, um, actually until like I basically got to Rooster Teeth. I think I spent mm -hmm. my first year at Rooster Teeth growing my hair out, and then mm -hmm. it just became a look. And the beard too. So it was one of those weird things where when I, I have full beard and I shave it off, people online like freak out like it ruins the day oh no oh, there we yeah. Go. yeah oh god there we go mike is like oh, had oh, that look. photo and he's like where am i I'm gonna use it where am i gonna he use it?" he had he had his chance when you said sexy jesus i thought that photo was coming up and he <laughs> True. it's okay we'll just use it again yeah oh there we go <laughs> that's a two beard. jesus's jesus oh. you're like really you're looking good you look that. like uh like uh was it season 10 of always sunny where mac was like bigger and then he got skinny like you you look like season 12 mac right now yeah <laughs> thank you You're i this is a i i mean i was already on the road to fitness in 2019 i lost about 20 pounds that year and then i lost huh? like another 20 pounds in 2020 and i feel like one of the few people who quarantine was good you know like a lot of people mm. like put the quarantine 15 or whatever but for me <laughs> my biggest vice is eating out. And as soon as all the oh. restaurants shut down, oh. I go, what do I do? And I go, oh, like, and then I found this thing called a stove and you can put eggs on it. <laughs> like it's, it's a marvelous invention. I'm so um, struggling yeah, with that, no, I man. Just... <laughs> I look at these eggs and I'm like, I don't, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. Cook. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot of, <laughs> I mean, I could just open up my phone and have Starbucks now. I know, and I still do that some, but I, I don't know, for whatever reason, that put me in the habit of, of making small, simple meals, and I kind of replace, especially because I had diabetes, I mean, I still have diabetes, but like, <laughs> the, um, you know, like, I, I just kept swapping in, like, sugar-free options, just one at a time, oh. until eventually I had a lot of, like, healthy stuff that I actually liked the taste of, so, nice. yeah, I don't know, for, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, this, huh? this, 2020 worked out, I'll say. Hey, I mean, look, I... <laughs> We talked about this a couple episodes ago. It's like we, you know, I don't want to. We shouldn't ignore the positives. I mean, there was uh, a, an innumerable about innumerable amount of negatives, but let's not completely ignore the positives either. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, a positive is uh, one of the reasons we want to have you on, which is uh, Dead Little Roosters just premiered. Uh, was it on the eighth? Four days ago? Yeah. Three days ago? It? Yeah. I can't on count. The eight. Yep. Um, it's very good. Can you, I guess, can you, for, for anybody who maybe hasn't seen it yet, could you kind of like uh, talk a little bit about it and like what it is and 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 uh, maybe the interesting way y'all had to make it? Uh, because it is a very high quality product that was made in 2020, which is hard to do in live action right now. Yes. Mm. So so that was the goal, right? We were trying to say, how could we make something that feels, that has the same premium feel as pre-COVID stuff, um, but, but do it in a way that was compliant with kind of, the way you have to film um and at the same time and and the two like fiona nova and i were, were both working on kind of two parallel projects like she was pitching mm. a murder mystery inside that, that had a similar thing like this lock-in um mm. mechanic and i thought this would be a great time to bring little roosters back because it has an interactive mechanic and people need stuff to do right now right they just need yeah. entertainment and one of the cool things about um 10 and 11 little roosters um, which are kind of old by now. I, Ten Little Roosters was six years ago, which is kind of wild. Oh my wow. god, that's um, wild to think about. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toddler. Um, I know. <laughs> um, is it, that's older? I thought toddler went to five. It's like a preteen. I don't oh, know what six years. <laughs> They're in first um, grade. Kids, children. Yeah. yeah first so grade. they. So I thought bringing that back would be cool because then people could could um, 
could have something, could watch an episode and then have something fun to do in the week, do a little investigation. And those ideas kind of merged. I heard Fiona was also pitching a thing, so instead of competing, I just I called her up and I was like, hey, we should just merge these ideas into something. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, so we shot, basically, it's a murder mystery. Um, it stars Rooster Teeth people as themselves. And the premise is that they've been invited to this mansion, um, promised a, a fortune, um, and then the host that brings them is murdered, and we actually pick up the story after that once the police have arrived and have quarantined all the suspects in their individual rooms um, while they try and, and sort stuff out. But somehow, even inside their own rooms, people keep dying because whoever killed the host is is one of the ten. Is breaking tenies. quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. So that's kind of the, the, the base plot. Um, and then there's also this this whole sleuthing element that was in the previous seasons where we buried a bunch of clues in the show and you can actually go and try and make predictions of who will die next. And there's a bunch of ways to figure that out. There's like a riddle, there's a weapons list, there's kind of like clue. Uh, mm-hmm. And you can go to the site, the site's deadlittleroosters.com and you can go there and put in your predictions. Um, and if you get uh, you win. You get the fastest stuff each week. We're giving away a switch every week. We're giving away a bunch of Rooster Teeth gift cards, and then if you win the grand prize, it's it's like a PS5 and an Xbox X and a, and a, a signed switch. prop and a, oh, Jesus. a switch. Another wow. another switch. Another a meet switch. and greet with the cast. Yeah. Now it's um, wild. Our, wow. Our employees allowed to play? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been able to get Xbox Series X yet, so I, I don't think so. <laughs> It probably I don't I haven't read the legalese I don't remember seeing that though you're probably good to go which I heard <laughs> we're gonna hear some of your predictions today which I'm excited about I well I mean and this is a little you know I was gonna I was gonna save this but um you know last week on I have notes uh we we made a big deal I mean you and I talked and you you promised to go ahead and and, and just tell us uh Josh <laughs> like you promised that you would just tell us uh, who the murderer is um mm-hmm. so I thought uh now might be a good time for you to just you know you want to you know you kind of want to Mm -hmm. just say it because what i could do is i could say who it really is and then people would think it was a misdirect that's true (laughs) although i will say i've been reading a lot of threads that think it's isa so it's true yeah okay real real question isa's best girl and if anything happens to her, I, I'm not going to watch anymore. Yeah, Erin Aaron has declared she's only going to watch while Issa's around. There she, is. That. There she is. There she is. So we don't know Can if Issa's going to watch like... two episodes or all of them. We don't know. Oh, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> you guys, you. so here's the thing, too. Everyone else I went to about this show as a cast, it was a quick yes. It was easy. Oh. Issa yeah. left me hanging. She went, I got to think about it. Like she went, I guess she talked to her manager or agent or whatever. She was the only one I had to had to beg. She made me grovel oh, to wow. get her into the show. So, man, yeah, I mean, if I mean, if I got invited, I I would have, yeah, I would have hopped. Yeah, uh, yeah, if Carrie got invited. Uh, if, um, okay, so uh, feel free to, to to this is a real question. Feel free to not answer though if this somehow uh, gives something away. Uh, have you? Has anybody guessed it? Yes, I saw <gasps> one. So what's kind of fun this time is I used to have to wait till all of the uh, the submissions were in and then get like a spit out of the data of like how everyone predicted mm-hmm. each week. And there's there's uh, the first week you actually also pick the killer and survivor. Like you make your front end prediction for that. It's the only time you get to guess it. And then all the other weeks are only about picking the next victim and weapon. Right. Uh, but I saw one person, this is the first time I've gotten to see the things coming in real time, I've Ooh. seen one person go four for four and get them all right. Wow. So, Whoa. Out of, out of like 7,000 submissions. That's crazy. So, that's a big brain energy. Yeah. They, they, should, they should <laughs> get like a plaque or something, even if they don't yeah. get the the full packet. That's that's cool. That's It's always like a... I feel like that's the perfect that's the perfect response, right? Because if if half of them had already guessed it, that'd be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. one in seven thousand is like, there's that's just one good. smart person watching, <laughs> and y'all did right. a good job. But we, when we did ten little roosters, um, there were fi- I want to say fifty two thousand people played, and only one person out of fifty two thousand went sixteen for sixteen on Holy correct shit. answers, which is wow. pretty wild. Ooh. Yeah. Was that uh uh Fosh J- Jelanigan? 
<laughs> yeah, it was really weird. And it's weird because the trip, we, what we gave away season one was a trip to Rooster Teeth. So that was dumb of oh, me. Yeah. yeah. It was just like next day, like, all right. No, I get, I get the good water. Where's the Topo Chicas? Bring yeah. them back. <laughs> yeah. I get it straight from Bernie's fridge. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. That's awesome. I, I I will say too. I really liked. Uh, um, in uh, y- y'all were very clear in the first episode. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, what the rules were, and you you were very distinct of like, hey, we're not messing with y'all. Like it's it's one of these people. We're not gonna throw something in. Like. Mm. You can do this. Uh, I thought that was a great way. I'm I'm sure that probably came from past experiences of people assuming that y'all were lying constantly. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I think just trying to orient people on the right. game as much as possible. And then I've been doing, I've been tweeting all week too, and I'll do it every week, I'm sure, as I kind of see the patterns of people, like, you know, I'm hiding in people's discords and all these things, <laughs> um, trying to see where the slew thing's going. And so I kind of like, I like my tweets are basically me patching the game. Um, That's fair, yeah. Like mid game. Um, so, <laughs> That's <yeah>. funny. <laughs> Hey, if every if every game can come with a day one patch, then so can <laughs> Dead Little Roosters. Um, Dead Little Roosters is my cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm I think kidding. you can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think he you says... should be allowed to compare it to something else if you want to. <laughs> You're right. Sorry, it's, it's my Fallout 76. Um, oh man, you went. That was much more of a lateral move than I thought you might be going for. Um, I was trying to give you more props. Um, uh, well, Duke what Nukem is this great forever? <laughs> is uh, Issa, you're 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 one of the the main the main stars. How uh, for I mean for for y'all like what what was shooting like? Um, I'm assuming you were all there at the same time uh, in a fully built out uh, accurate hotel. Yeah, very uh, very much. They rented out a whole mansion and, and um, coughing a lot. Every room. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there was my. Um, my one great shame of the day was that I actually had a coughing fit oh, <laughs> in no. the middle of it. And it was because um, I was yelling. <laughs> mm. um, and I needed something warm or I just needed water. But it, I couldn't express that it was because my throat hurt because I was just in the middle of coughing. So oh, I just like wow. ran out the room because I was like, I just need to be alone. But that was also not a great idea. So I just, every time I'm awake at night, I think about it. Uh, that's a do, good do, tidbit do you, for you, Josh. <laughs> do, you, do you think about the people who like laid away that night and was like, it happened. This is it. I'm this dead. is it. <laughs> I'm, every's fine. It's been, it's been a long time since y'all filmed. It's fine. Yeah, it's a, uh, it was, <laughs> It was really fun. I think one of the um, fun parts about being uh, part of the cast, which yes, I made I made Josh beg. No, I just I, that was true. That was true. <laughs> Top tier. <actress. laughs> That's how you know. But um, uh, your trailer it was really... said Mrs. Badiola on it. And Mrs. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really interesting because um, uh, it's really interesting being part of uh, a ca- just part of the cast because. I was just there for a day and actually there's a huge difference in like being a part of my shots and then actually seeing everything come together Um, because we were all very uh, the cast itself. I think you guys had split it up between different days like of everyone recording separately, but the same like crew Mm -hmm. were there for every single day. Um, So I was there for one day. Um, I was asking Josh during the day. I was like, oh, so how do you split? the rest of it like who who else came kind mm. of a thing i know like uh i heard if he came over like the weekend or something things like that um and we all i did have my own room and i just felt like i was just in there i was like i'm not wearing a mask i feel really bad guys yeah. <laughs> that's how i felt during extra life i was like i don't like this i don't know i was just like oh i'm really sorry <laughs> <laughs> but it was really fun um I came in uh, inept because I didn't memorize my lines and that kind of... Nobody that def- did. No one did, yeah. And that totally... Um, I, I felt really bad because uh, towards the end, I was just like, oh no, this is really fucking me over. <laughs> oh, no. I felt really bad. <laughs> but oh, yeah, uh, everyone know. was a huge champ and we got through it and I was really impressed. Um, you guys work really hard behind the scenes and I have such a, a bigger appreciation for live action shoots. Um, and also... I, I feel like I saw another relationship between like producer and director because uh, the producer on set kept throwing out ideas like, hey guys, what if we 
just did mm-hmm. this shot like this. And then Josh, you and someone someone else would be like, no, we're not doing it like that. And I was like, oh, this is this is real life producer and director. I think, I, do, I don't think that was, because Jessica Vasami was the producer. I think that was Dax, the AD. Yes, yes, Dax, my bad, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who, who just wanted things efficiently. He's like, you can't have this. And I was like, oh, yes, I can, Dax. Yeah. Uh, so, so. <laughs> it's, it's, bas- it's the same thing we go through the animation. Yeah, it's just ours takes... Ours goes over the course of a week, and then y'all's is done in, like, an hour. <laughs> like, that one decision. It's just, like, uh, yeah. everything's a lot faster. I mean, yeah, Josh, what was it? What it? Obviously, it's very different, but how did it compare to, to other, I mean, other uh, Little Rooster stuff or even just, I mean, any live-action thing? Like, it, I've got to imagine there's a lot that was very much the same, but then also a lot that was very different. Yeah, it's, I mean, so it was very, it was very COVID procedural yes. thing. And it was, it was, it's basically the first show that they've shot in COVID. So it was the guinea pig for the company, which, which again, Jessica Vasami did a great job mm-hmm. of, um, of, of spearheading that. But that meant getting tested three times a week. That meant that, Ugh. you know, people had separate rooms. You can only have so many people in a room. So like it becomes this weird game of say you're like, you know, if you need to come in and tweak props or something, you need someone from our department or set deck to go in there. It's like somebody has to step out a second while that person goes in. Whoa. So it's this very bizarre thing. Your your directors, Fiona and I, are sitting out in the hallway on a monitor. <laughs> um, and then even like there was even like a flow to this was shot in the the bungalow, the kind of core bungalow. There mm-hmm. was even kind of like an arrow chart of like how the whole building should flow. Oh, wow. um, in terms of like you should you should go you should always go counterclockwise to rooms or something bizarre kind, um, kind of like what they do then, at grocery stores but you actually probably did it versus everybody <laughs> else at the grocery store that just goes down whatever aisle they went to. we more or less did it i don't know i'm sure i i'm sure i walked against the stream a couple times but like, the uh i mean but again there's not that many people in the building either um hmm. but even like with meals like you're not allowed to serve any sort of buffet style thing so we you have to bring they all have to be prepackaged individuals we had one day Hmm. where we actually had to throw out the meals because the restaurant had packaged it in bulk and when it got to us the covid officers were like nope and so we said okay i think that was my day was it that i think because everyone was everyone kept going i'm hungry guys I yeah. remember See, that, that very distinctly. Right. That's when it's like, yeah. okay, well, you're going to eat all of the rice, and you're going to eat all of the chicken, and you're going to eat all of the beans, and it just, just becomes... Just the, you, you, the... You have the yeah. nacho cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to eat 100 tortillas, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining y'all delivering their food, like, prison style, through, like, a little cutout in the door. <laughs> in the rooms. The, no, people can... People can People can still come get it, but it is handed out by the COVID officers. So it was very interesting. Oh, uh, like, I think it'd be the law. warden. Yeah. 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 <laughs> one quick the, uh, portion. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, like, one interesting thing directing-wise was that because we couldn't have the cast all there at once, and but yet the show still has a lot of improv, um, yeah. we basically had to, had to do like surrogate improv where someone would improvise one day we'd have to write down what all their improv was and then the Mm. next day fiona and i basically reenact the improv from the last three days or whatever to the person and then let them improv off of it so it was just it was an experience that yeah that that sounds like that could become a nightmare quickly i mean like it's i i I am really glad to hear that i mean y'all didn't uh it's it's really inspiring to hear that y'all didn't have to like cut improv or like cut the idea of doing improv and be like stick to the script because it's all we have like Mm -hmm. the fact that Mm y'all figured out how to still do this because you could tell like that's what is going to make this show great um i think is awesome but uh i can only imagine how much extra headache that was (laughs) no it yeah it is i think i I think just broadly conceptually speaking too i think this is the best version of this series too i think the lessons learned from 10 and 11 were like 10 little roosters worked because um, you know, it was people getting to be themselves, um, and but it was so it was a little bit too inside baseball, I think, for for some mm-hmm. Richard T. people, like where it was like a little too inside joke. And then eleven, I mean, I think they're generally well received series, but the criticisms I saw were that for ten and and for eleven. Uh, when when Rooster Teeth people play characters, people don't seem to latch onto that as well, unless it's like an animated series. Sure. Um, so so this is to me was like the best of both worlds. It's like, all right, let's do something that has a broader concept. Let's kind of reintroduce people um, who may not be familiar with all these Rooster Teeth personalities, not have deep dive, 
lore jokes unless it's subtle and it doesn't stop you if you feel like you're not in the club. Um, and then at the same time, let the personalities really do a bunch of improv as themselves. So those are kind of the, mm. that was our tenets for coming in. No, that, that's really cool. Uh, da- Davis3969 asked uh, in the in the chat just now, if I was curious, did you, did you all ever play back the other people's footage or was it only this kind of like uh, second Telephone. secondhand yeah. improv or like secondhand reading? Um, no, yeah, it was all, yeah, we always read it, but we had it. We had a script supervisor. We had a scripty gotcha. who like took, took notes on stuff. So sometimes we would go to her and be like, all right, what did they say? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was always me or me or Fiona pretending to be someone else. So. There was, um, there was definitely a couple, a uh, couple of time when, uh, Josh, you and Fiona were like, oh man, you should have seen like this one, one person's performance. And I think, uh, the scripty actually behind the laptop was like, oh, come here. Like you, you can see it from this screen, but it was only like once or twice. Um, That's awesome, though. Because mm-hmm. it, they were they were also so busy just trying to make sure that everything else was organized that um, it it took them a bit to like even like pull up stuff because they had to go through all these files, so yeah yeah <laughs> it was a process. <laughs> I, there, there's examples of the improv too in in the first episode like Iffy's thing about um, Charlene's, Charlene's angels, angels. <laughs> and, and the, 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 the three thick dudes running down a beach. That like, was so, like, so, oh my god, so, it's so good. I, that was one of my favorites. Yeah, my favorite no, it's, part. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Is like watching Iffy's performance, and you see him, his brain, like the cogs in his brain, just turning as he's going through. It. Wait a minute. Three. A thick dude. No. Thick dude. Three. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh god, Iffy. So we. So-, so we took that to Hannah, who she yeah. filmed after, you know, and the, someday after him, and we were like, okay, you have to. Um, not only are you reacting to the Charlene's Angels pitch, but you have to accept it. Like it's you love it. And then also, and then she and I, and then, and then just on in the moment, we we added it into her back and forth phase dialogue. And it's like, yeah. oh, phase loves it too. And this seems to be a thing. And then and I threw lines around, and then we landed on thick thick men move merch. Yeah, uh, which is one of my favorite lines, but stems completely from a bunch of improv. So that's yeah. that's crazy to me. I mean, like the 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 fact that. Uh, wait, was she always going to accept one, or was that just like this is too good? To no. Pass out? Wow, that's yeah, great. She... <laughs> yeah, she's too good. Yeah. God, yeah, improv stuff's great. I I, uh, I love doing scripted stuff because it's uh, chill, but improv improv is uh, uh is, is so much fun. Um, you guys are so good at that too. <laughs> speaking of things that are really fun, and because we're at the halfway point, uh, did y'all know that wrestling with the week premieres uh, January eighteenth? It's going to be on Bruce Teeth. It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on all your podcasting platforms. It's got All Elite Wrestling Scorpio Sky and Funhouse's James Willems. Uh, they get together. They're going to break down the week of wrestling, the pop culture, sports, music, movies, maybe Dead Little Roosters. Who knows? Uh, and it's a co-production with Bruce Teeth and uh, All Elite Wrestling. So uh, you, should, uh, you should check that out. And if you still haven't become a first member, which is crazy to me, uh, we'd appreciate it. And you can make an account. And it would mean a lot to us and me especially. And uh, if you if you become a first member in the next twenty minutes, Josh will tell you who did it. <laughs> That's legally binding. It's That's a contract. <laughs> is uh is Dead Little Roosters uh first only or is it uh? It, it is first only. So that that could have been in that pitch. Could have said, hey, you can't. You're not gonna be able to, to win that PlayStation Five. You're not gonna be able to win that Xbox to give to carry. Think of, think subscribe. about that investment because I am gonna take off the top. Let's be clear. But a couple of dollars a month, when you you can keep the Switch and the PS5, that's fine. I get the Xbox. That's, it doesn't get better. That's savings. You're making money and you're supporting us, so we would appreciate it. Um, okay, that was all I had to say at the, at the, at the, the middle point. Good um, improv. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Um, if, we can, if we can get that in and then uh, tomorrow, uh, Josh can yell that at one of the editors. Um, <laughs> from off screen um yeah i would uh i would appreciate it but this yeah, is I don't, formally I don't carrie's I, uh, audition <laughs> is uh one thing i kind of asked you josh was was there anything uh i i mean you, you hinted a couple of these things before but like was there anything about this that you f- felt like maybe went better because of the the limitations of, of this i mean you know i think that's that's a common idea is that you know sometimes like limitations can 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 bring out or kind of uh uh force you to be more creative i mean like do you i mean this this idea seemed like it came from the limitations i mean like this wouldn't have necessarily happened if it wasn't for kind of the limitations that we're we're in right now right 
Yeah. I'm yeah, not trying to put a silver lining on COVID. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to embrace the positivities. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know that we would have made it if, if, um, if, if COVID weren't happening in general. Um, and then the, you know, I mean, w- one thing that springs to mind is that we, even during COVID, we were trying to initially shoot on a location, but mm. um, the leadership really wanted us to shoot on, on Austin Studios, where Rooster Teeth is, um, mm. where, um, so that if COVID, like no one knew how the outbreaks were going to go. So they were like, it could be the situation where we book a location and then there's a COVID spike because we filmed this in um, October, question mark. Yeah. Um, and they just didn't know if it was going to spike again. It's coming into the winter. So why don't right. we make this safe and, and shoot on our lot so we can control everything? Um, and I think what that led to was the amazing set design of the show. I was about show. to ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, by, by Lindsay Lipscomb and, and, and Marcus Lepore, um, that just, I, that, which looks phenomenal. So I, I don't know that anywhere we would have shot on location would have ended up looking as amazing as, as the sets did like just in bungalow e it's so, yeah it, it's it's a definitely a huge selling point of that of, of this year i mean like it just stands out and like it we, we said this i think uh while we were in before it's like if you if you didn't know if you're watching this four years from now and you don't you don't know when it was filmed like i don't think you would be able to tell that this was filmed mm. in 2020 mm. it just it looks great honestly i'm, I'm curious what, what what they had to go through to, to be able to build that stuff with all the regulations as well. <laughs> Actually, we also, we found loopholes in it too, where, because nice. again, we didn't have a ton of budget. Oh, that's another thing too, is like we, COVID is expensive. Like I want to mm. say we spent close to $40,000 on all the COVID stuff. Wow. wow. I mean, we couldn't, couldn't spend money on the things we wanted to. Right. And so we found these weird loopholes, like that, the bungalow is where core is now but achievement hunters moving in and we were like, great, can we go ahead and have them throw out all of core stuff so we can just have basically an empty set and can we paint the walls, whatever we want. And they're like, yeah, cool. So we took advantage of like this company oh, transition cool. to like oh. be able to basically like wreck the place. <laughs> <laughs> but if achievement hunter doesn't keep those rooms, they're I was going to say like, man, I wish my apartment looked like that. Yeah. I want, yeah. I want the art department to redo my place. <laughs> so, so is it like a, uh, yeah. The, are they all still standing? Like, or did did was it was it one? It wasn't one set that y'all kind of like refreshed out. It was like they're all multiple rooms right now. Yeah, every room is every colored wall is a room. So there's that's four, cool. Four main rooms, and then no, I mean most of the furniture is not there because it was rented. But some of it was even just repurposed like podcast furniture and things yeah. from around the office. But Smart. yeah, the four the four colored rooms are still there for sure. Yeah, if we could have every office look like that, those forever, that would be <laughs> that would be very good. <laughs> yeah. are you gonna talk harry about how you refuse to be part of little roosters despite my repeated request i don't know what you're talking what you about talk i think about? uh hey we had a we had we had a, a user submitted question uh for, from twitter can we maybe do the second one instead of the first one yeah let's uh, do this it this is really important this is uh or Issa, why don't you go ahead and read it Issa, wait me okay Issa, i need this you is, to read it this is from sari cockross yeah who goes why haven't you cast Carrie in a little rooster's property? What did he do? Now, I was a dead body. You were a dead Well, you were a dead body in a photo, so twice removed. Yeah. I basically I could have been some uh some like uh clumped hay. Um at, at that point. And that would have been Carrie. Uh, look, I'm just I'm just saying, uh I was October is pretty free. Um you know, I I I What's could be that? I could be a oh, actually I don't I genu- I don't know anymore. <laughs> I've already forgotten uh like this entire thing happened. No, I mean I, I like you, Josh. I'm just I just wonder did it did I did I did, did I take too long to follow you on Twitter? What happened? I don't know. That's probably true. Um I don't want to discount that. Uh but the you know, the it, in in all honesty I was going to have you in 11 Little Roosters. I'm sure there's, I can find witnesses for this, but we were trying to get you in 11 Little Roosters. And I was told, this was in 20, this would have been fall of 20... Um, 16, 17? 2016, fall of 2016. We filmed December 2016. And I was told explicitly, do not touch Carrie. And they might have met physically, but I also <laughs> meant as part of the show. It might be a little so. bit. There is a, let's just say there's a period of time where 
the 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 thought of me not working on Ruby twenty four seven scared some people. Um, but they, I, it's good. Hey, it feels good to know that. So I, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, maybe if there's a, a dead or little rooster, just, um, <laughs> they're telling me it could be a franchise. So it, it could finally three, three, finally, series three seasons in. in. <laughs> yeah. Um, or I mean, if you need a, if you need an Eric body double, um, Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little thicker, but, but I think we're not, about the same Eric height. Eric is not little. Yeah. I think I'm actually littler than him. There you go, little, little, littler Eric. Littler Eric. I could, I could, I could be littler Eric. He could be little like Eric, and dynamic. I could be littler Eric. They need a little list. Oh. Well, I want to leave room for somebody else. I mean, <laughs> this could be a shorter person. I don't know. Um. I don't know. Oh, there were actually there was like a real community question um, that we got from Twitter, or it was kind of real, I guess. He said, "Do you want to still use it?" Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we can pull no, that no, one up. No, it's not. It's not Issa's. It's that was the genuine question. More tips. Uh, no question mark. No question they mark want, insight, and it, and they it wasn't want more on the tips. tweet either. Um, wow. Jo- don't give it away, but do, do you have do you have any tips for the audience of like maybe like a little mini clue or 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 or, or, or something that you would you think that that would be good to to keep an eye on. Um, I don't want to put you on spot either, but I'm trying to think what people haven't talked about yet. But mm. like, if I would say, I mean, the thing I say to everyone is like the the riddle. Pay attention to the riddle. Don't mm. overthink. Like, don't don't go down d- weird dire straits, the band rabbit holes. That's <laughs> I, I, I love dire straits as much as the next person. I promise you, they don't factor into my clues. Um, and I will I, I, here, here's one I can say. That I don't think I've said before actually is the there's there's certainly things based on Rooster Teeth lore and shows, but it's not that deep. It was made, the riddles were made so that you don't have to know everything about every show ever and season two, episode eight, any of that stuff. It's mm-hmm. just some broad knowledge of a show, of who people play or their responsibilities on the show um, will basically get you like 90% of the way there. So so don't don't overthink it, but also think hard. <laughs> also, if you now uh, okay, here's the real clue, chat. If you take what he just said and you play it in reverse, <laughs> it'll sound weird. <laughs> it, will, it won't give you any new information at all. Um, and you, you mentioned that there's a couple like uh, uh, discords and stuff of people trying to like figure figure stuff out. Um, go to the mm-hmm. community. You can all talk it out, uh, and you can all do a timeshare on the PS5 that you win. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I want to st- yeah <laughs> presentation. You get it yeah. on the weekends, and I get it on the weekdays. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to call a couple things from chat. The one, the Dire Straits thing was funny because I saw someone in chat mention that they wanted that to be real <laughs> way earlier in the show. <laughs> And so you, you call that out, Josh. Just just throw that out there. Um, yep. Second thing I want to call out: Toe to is in chat. Hell he yeah! Went, hey, it's or they went. Hey, it's me. And I was like, Toe, it's you. <laughs> well, you so got, you got your answers. Yeah, are you satisfied? <laughs> Use a question mark next time, Toe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Carrie a stickler has for notes. punctuation. <laughs> Toe's just so hungry for more information they like stop processing. Oh, apparently Toe is actually a mod of that Discord, so that yeah, all, it turns it's out. all checking out. It's all coming for us. Toe's a very sta- busy person. I'm starting to think that Toe might be uh, uh, Josh Flanagan's alt account. Uh, oh. and, and, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of alt accounts, so it's hard to keep track. Do you do that too? I do that all the time. It's great. <laughs> I have to make sure like what I upload and like what I don't. I just gotta be careful. I'm like, oh, let me, let me. Oh, okay, well, hang on, wait. Erase carry is great. Okay, take take that out. <laughs> um, uh, I get you know, uh, to to kind of wrap up the Lucia stuff. Is, is there any any other clues you want to get or anything you want to talk about it? I know uh, the the weekly voting uh, ends like right before the episode comes out. Um, like the, yeah, the so next it, episode it, comes out. It ends an hour before, so an you hour have before, to get okay. your guesses in. Yeah, your predictions need to be in by. The show comes out every Friday at 2 p.m. Central. Um, okay. It came out last week on YouTube as well, just for the pilot, but this this Friday it's only going to be on Rooster Teeth first, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you have to get your predictions in by 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So. On, on deadlittlerooster's.com. 
DeadLittleRoosters.com. Yes. Yeah, we couldn't say, get fancy. .gov. Can you say how many episodes there are or not? There there are eight total, okay. which is the same as the last two seasons have been. Right. So yeah, eight, okay. eight total. There's a really there's a really fun I can I can tease this. There's a really fun um I guess you'd say they're animation. I think they are. Uh cameo in in the next episode. Mm. Um Issa knows who it is. Uh so oh. yeah. There's it's my it's character Carrie. from RTA. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> I was no, deciding scary. which bit I was going to go for. About. If it was going to yeah. be, uh, why am I not in it? Or if it was going to be, uh, hey, should I not mention the secret cameo I had? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and then I decided I could do both if I do the joke about not knowing which one I was going to do. Um, well, it worked out, I think. Okay. I think. I think what would have been best in this series is yep. to have had a photograph of the photograph of your body <gasps> and just to just take it that much more removed, you know, just is there still time? littler and littler. It's not yeah. too late. I'll talk to Post. It's not too late. <laughs> hey, give me the shot. I, I know enough After Effects. I'll just throw it in the background. Just, we can make. We can. We can make this happen. Um, I don't know who put this in uh, our our sheet. Um, and I'm going to assume that it was either Aaron or Issa. It was not me, actually. Was it Issa? No. Wait, who did that? That's who? Which one? So, well, which, well it, now I don't know. It? Let's talk about it. Aaron, do you know about this? I do. Okay. Um, so there's a little, a little uh, streaming website called Twitch. And uh, over, over the weekend... Uh, one of their beloved emotes was removed. Let's uh, just say so we all said that... goodbye to Pog Champ. Yes, as we know <laughs> it. Yeah, Pog Champ. Pog Champ, uh, which is now apparently turned into uh, just have an open mouth. Yeah, um, is is the thing. But uh, let's just say that the person that Pog Champ was based off of uh, is uh, you know uh, not not a great uh, somebody that we need an emote of. Uh, is the polite way to, to maybe phrase that. Um, Are you learning, Josh, about this? Yeah, I, Josh, I, I already, I saw... This is why we want to have you on, this... too, because you're a Twitch expert. Okay. <laughs> I am a Twitch expert. I have a lot of Twitches, mostly from the war. And so... <laughs> oh, my God! Uh, I think... I, I saw this peripherally, but I, I don't know who, who... I used to own Pogs, so I assume he was, like, a guy that, you know, made it to the top. Um, yeah. He got every... He had, he had the best slammer. He Something. he was the Pog champion, yeah, the Pog champ, yeah, yeah, um, and he he was known because he could fit a bunch of them in his mouth, um, and that's why there's an emote of his mouth going like, uh, it's just it's more like a two, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's we're making a lot of gestures and faces that will never be used against us uh, ever. Um, I will but, allow uh, it if we, I we, become we, the new Pog champ. Yeah, I I give you permission. I think it'd be great. Are, so, are you are you allowed to broadly say what the situation? We don't have to dive into oh, it. Oh, I mean, I, 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 he, I, mean I, can, uh, I can Google it. He uh, he said some things that, uh, from what I remember, he said some things that were supportive of the things that happened on the sixth. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so later that day, it was removed, uh, and then for like twenty four hours, people were just typing Pog Champ uh, instead of using an emote because they still wanted. <laughs> they still I think. Wanted to use it. And, and you know, I still wanted to believe. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I think uh, I think the idea here, and obviously there's people who are against it, but whatever. Uh, I think the idea here is that Pog Champ has become uh, kind of like Batman, and that it's more of a symbol. Ah, yes. Of excitement, mm-hmm. um, and not bad things. Yeah, um, I think most people who have seen Pog Champ are not familiar with the actual. Pogchamp guy. man, or yeah. creator, I guess. Pogchamp man. I, I mean, <laughs> name, honestly. I, I, uh, I, I've been streaming more, and and I've been watching more streams, uh, and I've just, I have reached the point personally where I am too afraid to ask what Pog means. Um, so I just kind of like, I, I act like I know what it means. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm in that boat of like, I don't know why this was an emote. I just know that it's been an emote for a while, and now it's gone. Um, but. I don't know if this is the meaning, but you know, in the military, this is true. There's mm-hmm. a, uh, it, they say it POG, but it's still P O G, and it stands for uh, like personnel other than grunt. So it's kind of a derogatory term oh, that infantrymen mm. like myself use against non combat MOSs. So, fun fact. So maybe oh. it's that? I don't know. I mean, that would make sense for believing 
last week was right, but like, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, it was, in general, uh, I'm gonna sound so fucking old right now. And I was about to say, like, this is like the the boomer council right now. Yeah. Uh, like, when things are, right are uh, good, they are poggers. The pog. Pog. Um, okay, so it's okay. typically a good thing. Yeah, poggies, until... my doggies. Oh my god. <laughs> That's yep, my personal that, thing. That, that, yeah. <laughs> Um, so Twitch announced that they're going to do a thing, which on paper I think is, is really cool is that every 24 hours, it's going to be a new person making the pog face, Ooh. which is cool in theory. Uh, already some, some lukewarm reactions to the Uh-oh. ones that have been for a couple of them now. Um, I think mainly because they keep they they're doing some photos that don't. Act, it's more of somebody's just mouth being open and not doing the full. Uh, I'm like, what? They're not embody like they don't have the embodiment of. Pog right. Pog. I don't think it's pog. anything against them. It's just they're not. Uh, is it a verb? Can you pog t- to pog? To pog. Is um, it an adjective? Is people it, what in, is this? People in chat mm. are saying it means play of the game, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. So you okay. Don't have to know that. That makes that makes too much sense. Play of the game <laughs> champ. Man, that what why don't we just go why don't we just start listing it out all the way and oh. we just say that was play of the game. <laughs> I think I think we abbreviate things too much. I think we we try and like we need to absorb experiences more, right? We have make make sure we're defining it clearly for everyone who hears what yeah. we're talking about. So. Like when I'm when I'm watching Dead Little Roosters, I wanna I want to text Isa. Wow, that really made me laugh out loud. The whole, like, I, 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 and say it, the whole thing. I'm not going to LOL. You, and then you throw a yeah. kappa at the end of that. That'll, that'll trick them. And oh. You keep, okay. Kappa. Oh. I, I, <laughs> you know what kappa I, is? I'm, I'm familiar with the... Oh, uh, Aaron, educate us, please. We're all so old. No, I guess I, I <laughs> thought I did, but I don't. Josh. Okay, Jack, correct me if I'm wrong. Kappa is just, like, to punctuate a sarcastic remark. Like, uh, I try to think. Like, the snow day on Sunday was great, Kappa. Like, For, okay, okay. I See, I, I felt like it was Poggers. No, Poggers, I felt like Poggers was, like, the excitement. Oh, I was See, not, I I was not excited. I wasn't excited <laughs> for the face. snow. But I hated, I hated the snow day. <laughs> Kappa. Hang on, I gotta go to Urban. Kappa? I'm gonna, is I'm is gonna that the, supposed to be the Reddit equivalent of slash S? Yeah, yes, that sounds about right. This is what's gonna get us canceled because we don't. I think this anything. is. It's like when Zoom Karen, started saying Twitch. that you. <laughs> you know all of this. Epic it's word. It's like when they started can be saying used worm. for anything. That's the what? That's not a definition. The definition they give: epic word can be used for anything. <laughs> Wait, is this that, the pog? Yeah, it doesn't mean any. I, mean, well, I, I put in poggers. Oh, okay. To be clear. Yeah, see, that's what that's what my interpretation was. <laughs> Um, uh, can i can i give you all the example sentence that they have for poggers that uh, is highlighted as top definition is this on urban dictionary yeah it's not good (laughs) Uh, i have 10 kids in my basement wow (laughs) such poggers (laughs) oh no huh that's uh that's not very poggers i would say uh uh okay well i'm done with that that is very unpoggy. You said, we should start did, making did, our own. Did you learn from that that definition? <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't like that okay, that's fine. That's fine. Also, to, speaking of pog, sometimes we'll be in like meetings and we'll have like Google Hangouts or whatever, and I will have mic on, but I'll be like typing because I'm like multitasking or something. We and all, there's yeah. been so many times where I've almost accidentally sent out a pog. I'm like oh no, oh no. <laughs> I don't we just, like just this. let's just get it in our Slack. We can add custom stuff. Oh, we'll they, our, it's there oh, already. Yeah, right. I use it all we'll, the time. Oh, yeah. Now we need to make our own because we don't want to use that one anymore. That's true. Yeah. Oh, that's true. We can just make yeah. all of our own faces during the podcast. Yeah, Josh is first. Josh Pog. Um, oh no, Josh Pog. Yeah, I would. I would take a Wait. Josh Pog. Yeah. So they took they took that emoji off of Twitch, but it's still everywhere else. I mean, like. Well, yeah, I mean, like, like, I think we like you have custom ones in Slack, so it's like they like, they they can't they can't. We have First the Amendment Twitch rights; they can't come for, for our us. our. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just go in and delete it when nobody's looking. 
I don't know. Ooh, <laughs> replace it with something else first. But like, so quick delete right. it and then really quickly replace it. And then they'll have a, a nice I, treat at the end of that. <laughs> I mean, I, I and I was thinking like, I do, I do think that it is like a really cool idea to, to highlight, you know, like newer streamers or, 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 or give more people like an audience by doing this like 24 hour thing. Um, I'm just, I can't even imagine like how, how I feel like that's going to be a lot more work than it seems. Um, mm. but if they can pull it off and, and keep it going, it's cool. It's just like every 24 hours having to make sure they find the new person, get it right, get it approved. Uh, mm. and then especially right now where a lot of people, I feel like, uh, are, there's some people who think that it shouldn't have changed. And there's some people who are like, just let it, let it die now. Yeah. Um, oh. that, uh, I don't know. Everybody's always so negative all the time. I'm just, I feel like it's just going to be this continuous, like bad thing when it should be a good thing. It's like, Hey, let's, let's use this opportunity to, to, to highlight, uh, streamers that, that maybe wouldn't have been highlighted before. Yeah. I think My we first should is, be I leaning think, into that. Yeah. I think they're going to cycle through the same ones eventually, but it's should, my first thought is that they'd go through like what, like a week's worth, maybe even like a month worth. And then they'll like go through cause there's so many top streamers, right? I don't Speaking know. Of, we'll can we talk? Can we talk about some of our favorite streamers or not? Go for it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Jo well, I, I mean, Josh, do you want to go first or last? Like, I, I know this <laughs> yeah. is like streaming is like really big for you. Actually, I have it no is. idea. I I'm mean, assuming it's not, but I, it could be. I don't know. It's, no, you'd be correct. Uh, <laughs> Watching all this um, Minecraft. I mean, it's, I, when I'm watching so much, so much Mr. Beast, when do I have time to watch streaming? <laughs> Does Mr. Beast not have a Twitch? I don't. I don't I think know. so. I, I, think, I think he's a YouTube guy, and I got. I got to order my Mr. Beast burgers. You know, I got to get. I got to. I got a lot of money to spend on that guy, so uh, I don't have time Wait, for Twitch. Has anyone had one yet? No. No, I saw the. I saw them on Uber Eats the other day. I went, ooh. I mean, I, I want to try it just to try it. Wait, wasn't there a thing Wait, going what's around? special about this? Was, I thought I heard something where people were getting like food poisoning or something from. <gasps> that, that, yeah. that doesn't surprise me in, in even like a little bit. I might be wrong, so you might want to double check that before uh, running with it. I know it's but fact. It's in the, they're they're all in kitchens of Buca de Beppo's. How can that be? A, who's ever gotten sick at eating from Buca de Beppo? That's, it's that's it's not even it's not even a knock on Mr. Beast. It's just we there's a Twitch streamer that that is now starting a burger franchise, uh, oh. and I've. I feel like there might be some speed bumps. I don't know. I I, I don't know. Um, is it like that um, Into the Spider-Verse bit where um, Peter B. Parker tried to make a Spider-Man um, a Spider-Man restaurant franchise and it tanked like that bit? Is that what that's is that what this is about? I think it's like that, but it's working. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's like if that had worked, because it's I think it's working. <laughs> Okay. Um, because Mr. Beast is very, very popular. Aaron, Aaron, who who are some of your favorite Twitch streamers? Oh. Well, I mean, I before last week's show, I was talking to y'all about uh, Code Miko, who is oh, yeah, oh my God. a virtual Twitch streamer, but not in the sense of it being like an anime girl. It's like a three D model, and it's like borderline like Uncanny Valley, but she's like really yeah. cute, but kind of like crude. Um. I think it's like rendered real time in like Unreal uh, mm -hmm. Engine. Cool. Uh, so the, it, they're using like a, 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 a mocap suit, almost yeah. like a I think it's like a twenty thirty thousand dollar mocap suit. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's expensive. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it's quite impressive though, and it's uh, top tier comedy. I quite enjoy it. It's very cursed, <laughs> uh, but that's my my kind of style. So now is cursed good <laughs> or bad <laughs> or just what you want? I guess it's what you want, right? Yeah. It's Aaron's like brand is very video. chaotic. Yeah, chaotic <laughs> energy. Like, it's always uh, keep, keeping me on my toes. <laughs> Wait, so so there's a 3D model. It's somebody in a mocap suit. Yes. And are they still, like, gaming? Uh, she does, like, like, interviews with interviews. other Twitch streamers and, like, YouTubers. So she's, like, interviewed um, uh, Moist Critical, uh, Hassan. Yeah, she just saw, that's one I saw. Yeah, there's a few others I can't remember. But it's mostly, I don't think she has done too much gaming. Uh, and then occasionally okay. she'll do like a behind the scenes stream where she shows like her setup. Uh, and it's uh, quite impressive. It, it all seems very, uh, and I mean this in a good way, like Gen Z or mm -hmm. young millennial. Like, yeah. like the video I watched, like the chat was like literally going across her chest. Yeah, and her um, face. 
Oh, yeah. And she has like an option where you can um, uh, spam the chat to like change the toggles on the model. So if you like want to make her head really small, like you just spam like two or whatever it's assigned to. And uh, there's been some monstrosities created. <laughs> it's, it's, wow. it's pretty uh, insane. So Would that's... you say it's poggers? It is very poggers. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think yeah. I think I'm starting to get it. Okay. <laughs> Man, I feel like I feel I between poggers and learning that people do things on Twitch that isn't gaming, I feel really old. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh man, there, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of gaming, but there. I mean, like uh, uh, Hassan is uh, Hassan Abi. He yeah. he does a lot of gaming, but like he usually starts his streams by like just talking about. I think he's a political science major, mm-hmm. uh, and like. Oh. On Tuesday, his stream got up to like two hundred thirty thousand people. It was crazy, yeah. Because it was him watching all of the live news coverage and talking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I mean, somebody just the they just broke the record. Uh, I think uh, there I can't remember who it was now exactly. I apologize. They they got two point I think it was like two point three million people watching. Oh shit! I don't know who wow. that was. Um, wow! Was it in Ninja? our last like two seconds of the show, I'm gonna find it real quick. And then here we are. It was trying not Ninja. To make, <laughs> trying to make. Productions. <laughs> uh, Spanish streamer the Greg uh, the the Gref uh, obliterates all time uh, Twitch viewer. Uh, no idea. Two point five million playing Fortnite, I believe. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh Fortnite. Yeah, because they uh, they revealed uh, his official Fortnite skin. Interesting. Um, I've never heard is... of him. Me neither. But hey, two point five million. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Go Lisa, good for him. We have we have like three uh, minutes left. Do you have a favorite? Oh streamer? God. Um, not particularly, I don't watch streaming as much as you guys are, I'm not involved in streaming. Um, uh, I know my SO watches a lot of streaming though, and, uh, they are a, uh, viewer of, um, Sayjam, and he is a fight gaming, uh, fight, sorry, fight gaming, um, talk, a commentator, there it is, Ah, commenter. Um, so he does pretty frequent, like, uh, gameplays, um... And he has his, like, talks and stuff, and he talks about, like, what... Com- During his, like, talks, he'll talk about, like, what's happening in the zeitgeist, mm-hmm. uh, make commentary on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he'll play games and stuff, like, he was going through Dark Souls. He did a stream with another... Man, I wish I remembered these names. I'm very bad at this. He did a stream with another uh, streamer, and they were playing... Um, it was one of those games where you try to climb to the top, but you always fall down. Until oh, I've seen that game before. It looks fun. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty funny because um, they did the whole, like, uh, they streamed at the same time. Or it was like uh, squad streaming. That's why. Yeah. Um, and the guy that he was playing with reminded us too much of a friend of ours. Uh-oh. So we just kept going, oh, no, it's him, even though it wasn't. <laughs> and the guy he was streaming with was a Filipino guy. So he kept t- saying all this stuff. And I was immediately like, yep, that's super Filipino. And he, he, <laughs> there was one who was like, man, I don't know why people are hating on him. I like my, my I like Michael Buble. And I'm like, mm, that's really Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? So, okay. I, it's like because Michael Bublé is a good singer, and everyone knows that a common Filipino person loves singing. <laughs> so Fair. I was just like, mm, yeah, he grew up in the culture. <laughs> so it's like stuff like that. I, Thanks for laughing, Josh. <laughs> I, I I think my mom might be Filipino though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think a lot of moms might be Filipino. <laughs> Uh, well, that is about the end of our show. Thank you, Josh, for being on. Yeah, we're we're all very excited about Dillow Roosters. Please, please, uh, I think everybody should get first membership and watch it because it is very good. Uh, and you could win me an Xbox Series X. And there you can watch is, Issa for, for an indeterminate number of episodes because we don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and... Uh, Tell yeah, me so more about how you think I'm the murderer. <laughs> you're not because you you're a perfect angel right. and nothing bad will happen to you. <laughs> Aaron, if nothing bad happens, if if nothing bad can happen to her, then she has to do something bad. You have to. It's one or the other, or maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I pretend not to see it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Josh. And uh, yeah, uh, next up uh, tomorrow, we're gonna have uh, uh, stays in with Caden on uh, RTTV. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, bye, everybody. Bye, friends. Have a good week.